Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Hitman here and I hope you guys are having a good day and ready to talk Dokkan. We have the New Year's info for, well, New Year's. It's still New Year's Eve where I'm at. If it's New Year's for you, I hope you're enjoying it. And if it's not, well, hopefully you walk into the good year in a good mood. So what's going on is it seems like it's just the freezer celebration plus the step up banner obviously is coming. So I don't know when it's coming. Did it drop yet? I, actually, I'll check in a second. So obviously we have the login bonus, we have missions, we have a sale at the Baba shop. We have what seems to be, I mean, I don't buy stones often, but this seems to be a pretty good stone sale, unless you're trying to go big. I mean, yeah, it seems like it's a pretty good stone sale. I can't really tell you though. Like I said, I don't shop too often on Dokkan. We have the new year step up banner coming. It, it, I think it drops in what, 50 minutes? Am I doing the math wrong? No, I think it dropped already. We'll check in a second. Actually. Yeah, we'll check in a second. We have an Elder Kai banner that, oh, it's already dropped. So it's going to be up until the 17th. Freeze's Dokkan Fest is dropping in three days. And it has ticket summons. All right. We have the, obviously, Pilaf's Trove stuff, category summons, Dokkan event. We have a new free-to-play Frieza and Sorbet coming. He's a first-form Frieza. He will Dokkan Awaken. I will review that unit and a couple other units in, my, in another video. Uh, tune into that if you want. We have a new battlefield coming. Finally, the Bora and Bobby are coming. I've been saving up for the longest. I think I should be able to get one dupe. So the copy and then so two copies from the Baba shop. And then I'll do a showcase on them at 69%. We also have new uh, or not new, but other story events coming back. Other EZAs coming back. Kid Boo is going to be the next EZA that drops on Global. So that's good news right there. We also have a challenge run coming, which is basically the punching bag event, but it's for Frieza. It drops the 10th. Wow, I didn't think it dropped so late. So, I mean, this isn't really anything of note. Just make sure you get your rewards and get out. I know the punching bag event, a lot of people avoid that, but at least get your rewards from this one. It's only temporary. Other EZAs coming in. That's basically all the, the notable info that's dropping. Anything else is just, yeah, login bonuses, stuff like that. Now for the login, we, oh, 21 stones. We get 20 keys of two types. We have me item coming, or me item in the box. All right. The step up banner is not live. All right, cool. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want to misinform you guys. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What's going on with you? How do you feel about the celebration? Honestly, I, I don't really... I just want the step up banner. I think we all know why we're here. I'm definitely going to summon on that. So if you guys want to see my summons, hopefully I don't get shafted. I'm surprised they put Kefla on here because Kefla was on global. Was it four months ago? Five. It's right before the Vegito and Buhan drop. I'm surprised they put her on here. They usually push it back just around that time. But I'm also, it's just Kefla is, she's one of the upper echelon category leads. So I'm just, I don't know. I guess I didn't expect her to be on here. Obviously, the Angel Goku and Majin Vegeta are going to be on here. Beerus is the, Beerus was around the cutoff. Beerus is where I thought they would cut it off. So Beerus dropped in, what was it, June? Yeah, I think Beerus dropped in June. So I, I thought he was going to be the last Dokkan Fest TUR that was going to be on the banner. Hopefully, the well, no, not hopefully. I fully expect that the cutoff for the summonable LRs will be UI Goku. I don't expect them to push it. I mean, for the five year, no, maybe, yeah, Rose. Huh. Rose and Broly should be on it, actually. I think they should, yeah, they should probably be on the step up banner. I'm not fully informed on what JP's step up list is, so I couldn't tell you guys based off of them. But let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited? Do you guys not care? And she's coming back. Oh, okay. I do not think anybody should get Keflo with red coins. I don't. I don't think her leader skill is worth it to the point. And if you're using her as just like a unit on the team, I fully understand where that would like that idea. However, with the exception of Cooler, Gogeta, and this Frieza, I don't think any TURs are worth 400 red, red coins when you can get the Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs. If you have every Dokkan Fest exclusive LR, do your thing, man. Honestly, do your thing. Have fun with the game at the end of the day. But that's just my opinion. I feel like... She's just, she's good, but she's not. If you, if it's not the best unit that would be in your box, or at least the best acquisition you can make, I personally feel like you shouldn't go for it. 
But let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a good day. Um, Happy New Year's. And Hitman is out.